What's up guys, Freddy with Poor Man Mods here. I just got done completely rebuilding the rear subframe of my IS300. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the subframe bushings. Now, I installed Strong Flex subframe bushings, which I got from Cube Speed. I'll have a link in the description down below to the bushings that I got. And if you wanna see everything else that I did to this whole project, I'll have a link down below as well to the whole video where I do everything step by step from removing the subframe, doing every bushing, and putting it back together. But this video will be just for the subframe bushings and will hopefully be easier to digest. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, the subframe is out of the car. We cleaned it up, took it outside, sprayed it down with some super clean, and washed away a ton of grease, grime, and dirt, and a lot of paint and metal too. The subframe really isn't looking that good, along with some of the control arms. Um, but what I'm going to do now is start removing the subframe bushings. These are not that difficult to remove. There's a couple different ways you can go about doing it. And like I say in all my bushing removal videos, my preferred method is fire and always fire. Um, I just like fire and every time I get a chance to use it, I'll use it. So um, you could theoretically just bang these bushings out. They're not that difficult to remove. Um, we tried hammering them out just to see what would happen and it, they did not move at all for us. So we're gonna burn them out uh, because we like fire. And yeah, it's a pretty low effort method of removing bushings. Just torch the metal around the bushing and it should loosen it up and fall out with a couple taps of a hammer. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's four of them. Very, very low effort. In this container here, I have some metal that I need to de-rust, and I've been using Evapo Rust and also Eastwood's Rust Remover as well. On this bucket of hardware, on most of them I removed all the rust. Um, this side was freshly out of the rust remover. This side was done a day ago and it's got some surface rust. But I'm going to try this Eastwood Fast Etch that converts rust to zinc. Should give it a nice zinc coating. So. We'll see how that stuff looks. Um, so far, the only bolt that I have to replace is one camber bolt, which is really nice. So we'll see what this looks like when I get it zinc coated and see how that turns out. And see that thing when it gets back from being stripped. I got my subframe back from being sandblasted and zinc coated. It is looking better than I was expecting. Uh, it got rid of all the rust. There is still a lot of pitting, but it actually is in better condition than I was expecting. I've decided that I'm not going to reinforce this with any additional material like I did on my Supra's subframe, but what I am going to do is go over some of the welds, uh, some areas where the welds are just incomplete or just are really, really poor. So I'm gonna use my cheap flux core MIG welder for this, uh, just to give me some little bit, just to give me a little bit more peace of mind with this. And then once I finish adding some weld, I will powder coat it. We're now ready to install the subframe bushings. Should be pretty easy, theoretically. Let's see if we can get them installed. This will take quite a bit of grease since it's a large bushing and there's a lot of perforation in there, so lather it up. Easy this part is. Just like that. We'll get the sleeve installed next, lube it all up. See if we can get it in with this rubber mallet. Perfect. This little Peachio fella is going to install just like this this flat surface 
facing up, and these little feet, little peg guys, are gonna be facing down. We'll lube this up and slide it right on the sleeve. All right, on to the rear bushing. This one is going to be even easier than the front one. Get a bunch of lube on there. These easily slide up from the bottom. Lube up the sleeve. Now it's very important that you install the sleeve in the right orientation. You can see this has a larger inside diameter than this side. You want the larger inside diameter going up because there's a dowel in the body of the car that this goes up into for alignment. So we're gonna install it like this, up from the bottom. And look at that, slides right up. Take some of this grease, put it on the inside of this bushing. And now this time, these little pegs or feet, they're gonna be sticking up, just like that. And now, every bushing is finally installed on this car. All right, now that we got all the strong flex bushings installed, the subframe is ready to go back into the car. And like I said earlier, I will have a link in the description down below to these strong flex bushings that I got from Cube Speed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And if you wanna see the full video where I do everything, once again, link is down below to the full length project video. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks.